welcome back to oop series for php and in this episode we are actually going to see what is static properties and method and how we can use this where we have to use static property and when we don't have to use this so all with that i'm your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so let's create a new folder called static and again i will create static slash index.php a file initiate php tag create a class called user and obviously here i will create public name and a function public function uh, simply get name okay and here i will return just sartha okay so let's see how we can get these things i think you know user is equal to new user then user arrow get name and let's just echo this out okay so open chrome go to static and sarthak is here but this approach is having two step one is getting the instance or the object of the class then getting the field but what if you don't have to get the object of the class you don't have to instantiate the class so for that you have to put here a static keyword so this will be static public function and now if i want to get the username that means get name i don't have to do all these things so instead what i will do i will just comment this and i will say echo user colon colon and by the way this is double colon sign is called a scope resolution operator so then user colon colon get name and let's go to chrome reload and yeah we have this sarthak but if i remove the static keyword from here and refresh it says non static property so it's very simple even you can get this name also so is static that should be static and here instead of this i will provide dollar this arrow name is equal to sarthak and now i don't want to get via function i will just want to get the name whenever you want to get variable not the function you have to provide the dollar sign so now i have to say here also is equal to sarthak shivasta and now let's go to chrome reload and yeah this is here but if i remove this keyword from here and the same result access to undeclared static property so this is very good but suppose you have given here this name but instead of this you want to get the name here inside the function like static keyword so i will say self colon colon that means the scope resolution operator and here dollar name and we have to give here user colon colon get name and i have to make it static so static and then getting the name so let's see it's again saying the result oh yeah we have to give it also static okay so this is sarthak but as the last time we have did arrow name and now let's see what happened you can see it says now this keyword will not be used because this dollar name variable or the property is an static keyword so we cannot use dollar this we have to use here self okay and it's just a static way of doing dollar this okay so again we are getting the same result so we have changed the name from sarthak shrivastava to sarthak only so next thing is that it is very easy to do all these things so why not everyone doing this because there are many downsides of this 
because it not creating any instance of the class then it is available to anywhere of your project so if someone got the idea it can access your information from the class via using this keyword okay so this is considered as a bad practice but only if you want to give some normal information to the user as a utility purpose then you can use it so i will type here use as utility purpose or as counters so if i say here uh, let's say number so if i use another keyword here so let's say i will create a static public number okay simple and now i will create a static public function inc that means for increment okay and i just want to say here self colon colon number plus is equal to 1 so we have to initialize it with 0 so 0 and now what i will do here i will firstly say user colon colon so increment okay it will increment that number property then i'm going to echo this dollar this number okay and i will do same thing once more so here is that and everything once more and let's see the result chrome it's 12 now but it's not the 12 actually it is 1 and 2 so instead here i will give echo br tag and now you will see correctly so 1 and then 2 so if i do once more the same thing you will get 1 2 and 3 so this is good if you want to use this because this is not having much information so don't use static keyword when you have precious information in your system okay so this is the static thing so we will meet in the next episode till then don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye